I'll start this off by reading something out of James chapter 2. This is verses 14 to 18. What doth it profit, my brethren, though a man say he hath faith and have not works? Can faith save him? If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled, notwithstanding ye give them not those things which are needful to the body, what doth it profit? Even so, faith, if it hath not works, is dead, being alone. Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Shew me thy faith without thy works, and I will shew thee my faith by my works. And faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. As it is written, He that is of God hears God's words. Galatians 3.6 Even as Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. And how would Abraham believe God without hearing his words? Genesis 26.5 Because that Abraham obeyed my voice and kept my charge, my commandments, my statutes, and my laws. Galatians 3.16-19 Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. He saith not. And to seeds as of many, but as of one, and to thy seed which is Christ. And this I say, that the covenant that was confirmed before of God in Christ, the law, which was 430 years after, cannot disannul that it should make the promise of none effect. For if the inheritance be of the law, it is no more promise, but God gave it to Abraham by promise. Wherefore then serveth the law? It was added because of transgressions, till the seed should come to whom the promise was made and it was ordained by angels in the hand of a mediator. And the seed came to whom the promise was made, as it is written, Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. So let's take a look at the covenant that was only added till the seed came to whom the promise was made. Exodus 34, verses 27 and 28. And the Lord said unto Moses, Write thou these words, for after the tenor of these words I have made a covenant with thee and with Israel. And he was there with the Lord forty days and forty nights. He did neither eat bread nor drink water, and he wrote upon the tables the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. Deuteronomy 31.16 And the Lord said unto Moses, Behold, thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, and this people will rise up and go a-whoring after the gods of the strangers of the land, whither they go to be among them, and will forsake me, and break my covenant, which I have made with them. Deuteronomy 31.19 now therefore write ye this song for you and teach it, children of Israel. Put it in their mouths that this song may be a witness for me against the children of Israel. Deuteronomy 31, 22 to 26. Moses therefore wrote this song the same day and taught it the children of Israel. And he gave Joshua the son of Nun a charge and said, Be strong and of a good courage. For thou shalt bring the children of Israel into the land which I swear unto them, and I will be with thee. And it came to pass, when Moses had made an end of writing the words of this law in a book until they were finished, that Moses commanded the Levites, which bear the ark of the covenant of the Lord, saying, Take this book of the law and put it in the side of the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God, that it may be there for a witness against thee. Hebrews 7, verses 11 and 12. If therefore perfection were by the Levitical priesthood, for under it the people received the law, what further need was there that another priest should rise after the order of Melchizedek and not be called after the order of Aaron? For the priesthood being changed, there is made of necessity a change also of the law. What was the first commandment of the Old Covenant Ten Commandments? It's written in Exodus chapter 20. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. And what did the 
first commandment become according to the mediator of the new covenant thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart with all thy soul and with all thy mind this is the first and great commandment so you see that's different than the first commandment in the Old Testament and the second is like unto it thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself on these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets and the literal son of David Solomon broke the old covenant when he broke the first old covenant commandment first Kings 11 9 and 10 and the Lord was angry with Solomon because his heart was turned from the Lord God of Israel which had appeared unto him twice and had commanded him concerning this thing that he should not go after other gods but he kept not that which the Lord commanded but God is able to raise up lively stones unto Abraham who are justified by works wrought in faith and not other works of law Galatians 3 7 to 14 know ye therefore that they which are of faith the same are the children of Abraham and the scripture foreseeing that God would justify the heathen through faith preached before the gospel unto Abraham saying in thee shall all nations be blessed so then they which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham for as many as are of the works of the law are under the curse for it is written cursed is every one that continueth not in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them but that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God it is evident for the just shall live by faith and the law is not of faith but the man that doeth them shall live in them Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse for us for it is written cursed is every one that hangeth on a tree that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith and we know that faith without works wrought in faith is dead John 14 12 verily verily I say unto you he that believeth on me the works that I do shall he do also and greater works than these shall he do because I go unto my father this is a work that I'm doing in obedience to God because I hear his voice and if I told that to a mental health professional there's something wrong with me according to them but they're paid sorcerers as I've talked about before I'm collecting gold that others placed value on as a medium of exchange but I work in faith that it shall have no good exchange value to anyone and for good reason and I worked a lot of the material out of here out of this pan and it's, it might be something that you can see you might have to uh, full screen this to be able to see some of these specks but as I'm doing this I'm bringing the darker sand the black sand the brown sand already got pretty much taken away but you might you might see some of those gold flakes in there they're starting to show up right now James 5 verses 1 to 4 go to now ye rich men weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth-eaten your gold and silver is cankered and the rest of them shall be a witness against you and shall eat your flesh as it were fire ye have heaped treasure together for the last days Behold the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud, crieth, and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabbath. Ezekiel 7.19 They shall cast their silver in the streets, and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Lord. 
They shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels, because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity. What happens when the kings of the earth, great men and rich, can't exploit others through a medium of exchange anymore at all? The counterfeit governments of the world go down with their counterfeit money systems, and the merchants of the earth weep and mourn. I see what's coming, and it's happening, starting to happen. Matthew 18, verses 2 to 6, And Jesus called a little child unto him, and set him in the midst of them, and said, Verily I say unto you, Except ye be converted, and become as little children, ye shall not enter the, into the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoso shall receive one such little child in my name receiveth me. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck, and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. And there's a lot of people that I'm offended by, and I am as a little child. I was converted, and I have that kind of faith in my Father in heaven. I'll leave a link for a video that has to do with another work that I'm doing that's different than, than just sifting out this gold. It's quite a bit different. And it's against people who sacrifice children for personal gain. This is what I was led to talk about. Thank you.